we'll go to Thane Heraldi now and see how we can help them come to the meeting. So it looks like Thane Heraldi is already fishing. Maybe. I already told Jarl Morin, if Thane Swine attends this meeting, I will not. Now, let me finish the rite of the whale. Praying to catch fish, eh? Brigger just uses a net. Friend, see if you can convince Thane Heraldi to talk to us. I will try. Rigert has been trying to get Thane Heraldi to listen to him, but the Thane wants nothing but fishing. It's the worstest sport, friend. Just standing and fishing. There's not even a ball! Yeah, I agree with you there. Oh. I hear someone convinced Swine to stop gorging himself on pork pies and do some work for a change. If you're here to try and convince me to meet with that unbearable oaf, forget it. I swore to never set eyes upon that man again, and I meant it. What will it take for you to attend the meeting at Yal Morin's lodge? I'm afraid it's impossible. I had my doubts about meeting a delegate from Windhelm in the first place. Thaneswein being here only confirms that my skepticism was warranted. He is an obscene boar, and I will not speak with him for any reason. He is, but there must be something we can do to convince you. No, my friend, there is nothing. I intend to spend my remaining time here communing with the spirits of nature and trying to catch old Hjol's daughter. That fish swam the river Hjol in my grandfather's day. But, spirits willing, I will hook her soon. I see. Thane Hiroldi will not move until this fish is caught. So, if we catch it, he will have to go to Rigert's meeting. That is absolutely not what I said. Friend, meet Rigert at Chillwind Depths. He has a plan to catch this slippery horker's daughter. Uh... Rigor the Brass. Was that his name? Hmm. What a strange little man. Yep, he is very strange. If we catch old Hural's daughter, will you attend that meeting? You mean, if you and that buffoon managed to do what neither my father nor grandfather could, despite praying to the animal spirits and fishing their entire lives? Sure. I'll also attend this meeting if it starts raining mead. We'll do it. So, to win depths, he said. I think I've been there. I think. Yeah, over there. So, I wonder what his plan entails. But yeah, if Thane Heraldi's grandfather and father spent most of their life trying to catch that fish, how are we going to catch it? I mean, Rigged's plans may not be the best plans, but they do always come through, just not in the way you expect. Which is what makes these quests great. So here's Chilwin Depths. I think over here. Rigert is glad to see you, friend. This place makes his armpit hair stand up. Okay. Rigert has long heard tales of the strange caves near Solitude. The tales did not say they were so eerie, but Rigert does not scare easily. He is a proud, unflinching son of East March. Now, let's get what we came for and leave. Quickly! What does this have to do with getting Thane Heraldi to meet with us? 
Rigert said we'd catch Thainer all these silly fish for him, but Rigert must admit something that will come as a surprise to you. He is not a talented fisherman. Oh, who knew? <laughs> so why are we here? Rigert may be a poor angler, but he is still the best ambassador in all of Tamriel, and he happens to know how to acquire the perfect fishing bait from his time among the Argonians in Shadowfen. What is it? A mushroom with a silly Argonian name. Too many sounds for poor Rigert's tongue. But it grows in the dark, dank pits of Shadowfen. Pits just like this! If we look around, Rigert is sure we'll find it. Are you sure this will work? Yes, Rigert swears no fish in Tamriel can resist such a mushroom. If only it grew more frequently, it would be used by people everywhere, my friend. Now, lead the way. Rigert will follow. He will use his keen nose to find the prize we seek. Where should we look for this mushroom? Rigert remembers his Argonian friends taking him into the darkest part of a stinky cavern. At the very back, Rigert spotted the mushroom. Uh, smelled it too. It should not be hard to find. Keep your eyes and nostrils open, friend. Okay. Guess we will head there. I will just put on my ring so we can fast. Can't go that way. So yeah, if this mushroom grew more frequently, it would make fishing real, real easy. Forgot this cave had Falma in it. Okay, uh, this way. Sit. I hate Charis. Ah, oh, here it is. it. Rigert remembers that stink. He will take it back to Thane Hraldi at once. So is that where we go back? To the Thane? Yeah, I'll just teleport out of here. It's faster. <laughs> okay. So, back to Thane Heraldi trying to catch this fish hopefully it works yeah. what's that? So if, yeah, if we can catch this fish that his grandfather and father failed to do, then that will convince him to come to the meeting. You're back. Oh, and by the way, you stink. How is that going to help you catch old Hyo's daughter? Just watch, Thane Heraldi. Wait. Where's your fishing rod? Uh-oh. Rod! Holy <laughs> spirits! That week! It's all Hyo's daughter! This is the part of fishing where we run after the fish, yes? Let's go, friend! Okay. Come here! How big's this fish? Whoa, it's one big fish by the looks of it. Hey, come back! <laughs> it's 
a hawker. What? I don't understand. Old Hyod's daughter is a hawker. <laughs> what? That's funny. Ha! <laughs> Rigert and his friend have cornered the beast. Though it looks less like a fish and more like a hawker. Rigard sees why people enjoy fishing. He should do it more often. <laughs> for years, I gave prayers and offerings to the animal spirits that my family has honored for generations, expecting their blessing in return. And then this idiot throws a smelly mushroom in the river and catches my family's ancient quarry. Well, will you meet Thane Svein and Yalmarin now? How can I refuse? You and your infuriatingly dense friend taught me a valuable lesson on this day. And what's that? You taught me that my feud with Thane Svein doesn't matter. Nothing matters. A life of prayer and worship can come to naught and some random fool can accomplish your dream in a moment. Uh, there is no justice in this world. So, I will meet with him. Yeah. I'll tell Jarl Morin to expect you and Thane Svein. I'll venture to Jarl Morin's cabin shortly. I believe I need to be alone for a moment. What do you plan to do with old Hjal's daughter? I plan to set her loose, seeing her hair staring into her fathomless eyes. She torments me. I want nothing more to do with her. Ah, Poor thing. Hawkers are cute in a way. In a way. <laughs> now that Thane Heraldi and Thane Svein have agreed to meet, we should return to Jarl Morin's hunting lodge. Go on, friend. Rigert will meet you there. Go. Good work, friend. Rigert will meet you at Jarl Morin's cabin. Let's hope the meeting's not a disaster as well. This should be interesting. But yeah, I didn't expect the fish to be a hawker. Surprised me. Can I enter now? At first, I didn't believe Rigard was an ambassador. He's not exactly what you would expect. Yep. True, true. <laughs> Rigard, you bearded ox! Get over here! And bring your friend. There's more mead where this came from. Jarl Morin is in good spirits. See if she's ready to meet with the Thanes while Rigard cleans up. She's drunk. She's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Well, well. Rigord the Brash is surprisingly comely friend. I don't have any unopened bottles left, but you could probably fill a flagon if you're willing to mix a few of the vintages. So, get drinking. There isn't anything else to do, is there? The Thanes put aside their differences. They agreed to meet with you and Rigord. Wait. You mean... They're coming here to talk about a treaty with Eastmarch? Kind's breath, when? <laughs> they should be arriving shortly. Then I need my scribes. I need my advisors. I need my chef to prepare the victuals. I need the legal scholars here. I need, I need, I need to sit down. <laughs> I wish you luck. Your morning. Brigitte, am I early? Uh, not at all. <laughs> Rigert and his assistant just need to finalize preparations. A word, friend? Uh, great. Uh, this isn't gonna go well. One of the Yarls is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of my home. Mm, it's a bit messy in here. Not that it matters. Not that anything matters. Oh, poor Heraldi. 
Rigert knows diplomacy is not the smoothest road, but this one was almost too bumpy, even for him. Either way, Rigor could not have done this without your help, friend. Are you ready to discuss the treaty? Rigert is ready as ever. Of course, King Joran told Rigert not to say anything during the meeting, so mostly he is ready to nod and smile. You have been such a good friend to Rigert. Take this with his thanks. Thanks. Dainswein, don't think my being here means I've forgotten the New Life Festival. Will someone thank Thane Heraldi for facing away from me, so I don't have to look at his pissing beard? Look at all these bottles. Did you start without us, Jarl Morin? Well, I actually... Ha! My kind of diplomacy. Speaking of, we've got some talking to do, don't we? Yes, I must second my corpulent peer's point. Let's discuss this treaty of yours. Of course, right away your thaneousnesses. Great. Rigot really knows how to surprise you. Even now, just when I thought there was one of him, there's two. <laughs> Are you sure you're able to conduct this meeting? I'll let you in on a little secret from Whiterun. If Nords ever conducted negotiations while completely sober, Nothing would get done. Okay. Will you and Rigget get the Thanes to agree to a treaty? I'll say this. I organized these talks because the Skull King asked me to, not because I thought we'd succeed. I assumed the meeting was doomed to fail. But given what Rigget's accomplished already, perhaps I was wrong. Or perhaps I'm just drunk. He wouldn't have done it without our help. <laughs> Rigert hopes these talks go well. The Skald King plans to send him on another mission soon. Hopefully it will be a place where the people are excited to embrace Nord culture. Ooh, any idea where you're going next? No, oh, Rigert has no say. Some place far away, most likely, where the Nord cultural exchange can do the most good. Rigert did hear the Skald King mumble something about the distant reaches of oblivion. Or was it the depths of the Alakir desert? Oh, could that be a hint? To where we might go in the future? Let's hope. I'd like to see more of both of those, Oblivion and Alakir. I've been to a few diplomatic talks in my time. Bores a lot of them. But, after everything you and that frost heel pulled today, this one seems worth my time. What do you think will happen at these talks? Who can say? Western and Eastern Skyrim split on bad terms. No point trying to put gravy on that pig. But while the East has prospered, we... Well, life's not bad. Could be better. Jarl Morin and Rigert will tell us how much better it might be. Let's hope. I was suspicious of what Rigert and Jarl Morin could accomplish, but... If Rigert could destroy a man's faith in a day's work, why shouldn't he be able to resolve the rift between Eastern and Western Skyrim? Do you think you'll be able to work out a peace treaty with Eastmarch? Not today. We are only two Thanes, Swine and I. But we have the ears of other Thanes, that have the ears of Jarls, that have the ears of the King. If peace is prudent, Erd will reach the throne. Yeah. So what's this book? Necessities for successful negotiations. Maybe that's what Rigget's using. <laughs> negotiations can be tricky things, whether you have parties who are already in agreement with one another, or groups who would love nothing more than to rip out each other's throats. Navigating talks between them must be orchestrated with care. No matter if you are an accomplished diplomat or a business person, negotiating is an essential skill. Anyone can learn it, but it must be practiced and refined. Here I will list a few techniques that are invaluable to the skilled negotiator. Patience. Negotiations can be incredibly frustrating. 
Maintaining a level head throughout the proceedings, even when others seem to be doing their best to vex you, will undoubtedly help everyone reach an agreement. If you find yourself raising your voice or unable to calm down, you might consider taking a break until such emotions subside. Make sure you have a comfortable and spacious meeting area. Cramped and disagreeable places tend to foster the same qualities in the negotiations. You want people to feel at ease while broaching the topic under discussion. Make sure it's not too hot wherever you are as that's bound to increase tensions. If it cannot be helped, make sure to provide cool refreshments. Ensure that everyone is heard during the meeting. Negotiations are often snuffed out before they ever get the chance to start because of one group feeling misunderstood or even outright ignored. If you ensure that everyone has time to state their case and that their words are understood, then your negotiations will run much smoother. Well, Morin's already drunk all the refreshments. Uh, this place is kind of small, so the negotiations are already against each other there. Sounds like it's going to be another one of Yara Morin's famous political benders. I pity whatever servant has to mop up the cabin when they're finished in there. Yeah, well, she's drunk. So yeah, that rigged quest was kind of... Not as crazy and out there as previous quests with Rigget, but still fun nonetheless. Especially the Hawker, that bit was good. So yeah, I'm going to end this one here and we'll continue on with more questing in the next one. Thanks for watching.